and what I can do is I can I can sort of play with the, the espresso versus my regular dark roast brew here that they've got. Jesus Christ, I've ever Three dollars, four dollars. I don't know, eight more. It's pretty expensive coffee. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things, too, is if anybody does any watercolor painting, um, something that uh, I'm going to do is this is the stuff I've actually boiled down. So I'm going to go ahead and just mix a little bit of the, uh, the espresso with it to get a little bit darker. See how that pulls in more of the dark? And so all this, all this in the cup is, is simply my Starbucks from this morning that I went ahead and boil down for a couple of hours until it almost becomes like a resin. The kind of like you leave the bottom of the pot. Yep. Well, I watch it real careful so it doesn't get all nasty, but uh, yeah, basically that's what it is. What I was going to say is that, you know, some of the things that you end up learning as a watercolor artist, in the old days, you know, I used to make it a point to try to really make sure I covered all the paper, you know, but as you get older, of course you can't see as well either, but... <laughs> You, you you leave those little white spots, you know, you're not really filling everything in. And that adds a lot of character, you know, almost a Do what DuPont did, just make yourself some paint, some paint tiles, put it out in the Florida sun for a couple of weeks, see what happens. And um, and what actually happened was There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with just holding the thing still. <laughs> I can do I can do pan ins and pan outs, okay. but yeah. but that's really not the point. Okay, so you'll probably keep this whole recording. So I just want to let everyone know that when this man becomes extremely famous that his wife, who was trying to be the monkey cam and be really creative, was just shot down by the incredible down. and talented man here. This is just me. No. Uh-huh.